Hey guys, welcome to Comic Basic Lists, where we try to unravel everything we know about comic books in 10 minutes or less. Today's list, 10 Marvel heroes who don't need powers to win. Before we begin, I'm going to ask you two things. First, I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right below this video. That way you'll be sure never to miss a video and it helps this channel grow. Second, I need you to check out a website for me. I need you to go to www.comicsforcause.com. The link is in the description. Comics for Cause is a global initiative started by us here at Comic Basics that gives children all over the world a chance to escape their own realities through the medium of comic books. I strongly encourage you to check out the website and if you can, help us. How many times have you looked at a Marvel superhero and thought to yourself, Man, would it be awesome to have their powers. Yeah, me too. What about the ones who don't have powers? Would you want to be them? Would you dare to live like they do? Could you be smart enough, skilled enough, or smooth enough to survive in their world? I wonder, who are they? Well, let's find out. Here are 10 Marvel heroes who don't need powers to win. Ah yes, Bruce Wayne without the ever so serious disposition. Tony Stark used his smarts to devise a suit that could mimic the heroes and villains with powers. Because of this, he's able to go toe to toe with the best of them. Iron Man was and is so far ahead of the curve that he had GPS built into his suit long before our cars, trucks, and SUVs had it. Aside from the comical demeanor that Tony has, his smarts, ingenuity, and continual desire to be the best keep him ahead of everyone else around him. Yes, being beside Captain America for the better part of his youth taught Bucky to fight, plan missions, and navigate the political landscape. However, being beside him also hindered his development. After his transformation into the Winter Soldier, Bucky was able to tap into his potential and unleash hell on politics all over the world. He literally became a ghost. If you don't believe me, check out his work in Captain America the Winter Soldier and see exactly why Bucky doesn't need powers. What list would be complete without a sergeant that could effectively lead his troops into battle? On more than one occasion, Nick Fury has thrown caution to the wind in order to save the people around him. Much like Rod Stewart, Nick is kept forever young by the Infinity Formula and because of this has survived war after war. His experiences have allowed him to pick up valuable lessons and ideas along the way. In short, Nick is a leader that the Marvel Universe looks up to, and he never needs powers to win. Beauty, brains, and a knockout punch sums up Natasha quite nicely. She not only knows hand-to-hand -hand combat, but is completely capable of making grown men cry. The reason the UFC doesn't allow women to compete against men is because it's scared someone like Natasha will come along and beat every one of them. Well, not actually, but maybe. Trained to be a killer, Natasha is the person you would want on your team if the fight came down to fists and kicks. Frank Castle is the embodiment of righting a wrong by any means necessary. As a former US Marine, Frank learned how to defeat any opponent by any means necessary. Frank is skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat and as such can easily disarm any foe. He is capable of using any weapon on the planet but of course sticks to what he feels comfortable with. Guns. Big. Guns. Frank turned a tragic accident into a lifelong mission to rid the world of those who would do others harm. The next time you think of being an asshole, think again. And the Punisher is definitely one of those 10 Marvel heroes who don't need powers to win. The skilled assassin that makes looking good easy. Trained from a young age to take care of business, Elektra became the world's foremost assassin, working for the likes of Kingpin and at the side of Daredevil. Maybe you're thinking you could be just like Elektra. I wouldn't blame you. If you do, make sure you become better than Raphael and learn to use that side. Without it, you won't stand a chance at becoming even a fragment of what she is. One part marksman, one part circus performer, four parts awesome, and one bad costume make up the man known as Clint Barton. Don't get me wrong, his costume in the Avengers movie is pretty awesome, but just look at these pictures. The purple scheme is a little much, don't you think? All that aside, Hawkeye's skill set is invaluable. Not only does every shot he takes hit its mark, but he's a trained fighter and can crack jokes with the best of them. Still don't believe me? How many powerless heroes can you think of that can hold their own and stand beside a man at a time, a god, a genius, and a hulk? When you look at a guy who leads a team like the Guardians of the Galaxy with no powers of his own, how can you not be impressed? Think about it. Talking Tree? Yep. Engineered Raccoon? Yep. Green Assassin? Oh yeah. A guy whose name has Destroyer in it? Really? Peter Quill is a master strategist who uses his cunningness to solve problems as quick as they happen. He possesses great hand-to-hand -hand abilities and is able to use a firearm of all sorts. If all that fails, well, he can refer to the Talking Tree. Only rising in popularity lately, it doesn't appear as if he's going anywhere. 
And if he looks like Tarzan to you, you'd be correct. He spent countless years in the Savage Land, developing skills that have enabled him to survive it. He is a master hunter, trapper, fisherman, and fighter. Not only could Kazar grace the cover of the next New York best-selling romance novel, he could fight off any adversary that threatens his land or his friends. If his knife doesn't have you cowering in fear, then maybe his friend Zabu might. Can you imagine running into that? I'll be back. Before Arnold Schwarzenegger was a Terminator, he was Conan. Nothing can keep Conan down. Even a Hulk Hogan leg drop wouldn't stand a chance. Much like Kazar, Conan is a master of combat and is able to use most of, if not all, combat type weapons. If you don't believe me, just look at the pictures. He's using every one of them at the same time. If Skeletor thought He-Man was a problem, wait till this guy comes knocking on the door of Castle Grayskull. Powers? Not a chance. And that's it guys, 10 Marvel heroes who don't need powers to win. What'd you think? Did you enjoy the list? Is there anyone I missed? Would you put someone in the list? Would you change it? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I'm going to ask you three things before you go. First, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. It really helps this channel grow. Second, if you really liked it, give the video a share and let someone else like it too. Third, I'm going to ask you to check out two websites. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I need you to go check out Comics for Cause at www.comicsforcause.com. The link is in the description. Comics for Cause is a global initiative created by my brother and I here at Comic Basics that sees the distribution of comic books all over the world to children who need them most. Check out the website, and if you can, I encourage you to help us. Second, I need you to check out Comic Basics, of course. Comic Basics is the parent company to this YouTube channel. It has more information than we can cram into any of these videos. You can find it at www.comicbasics.com. The link is also in the description. Thanks guys, and we will catch you next time.